Hey, what's up guys? In this tutorial, I want to show you a few ways how you can apply an autumn glow effect to your images, which will make your pictures look more dreamy. And overall, it's just a cool effect, which is easy to apply. And I use it most of the times on my images. So let's start with the first method. You see, I'm in Photoshop. I have my background layer, which I want to duplicate. Therefore, I'm pressing Control J. Then I'm heading over to the filters and then go to blur, Gaussian blur. And depending on the strength of the autumn glow effect, you can change the radius to as much uh, as you'd like. Uh, I think I'm going with something around 15. I think that looks good and then apply this and then you just have to play around with the opacity. I would suggest going uh, between 10 and 15 percent otherwise it may look too heavy but it's totally up to you. I could also go a little bit stronger on this one. If I have to I could also mask out areas which don't need glow. For example this dark area here in the middle part of this image just to get back some details. But if you want to have further details in this image you can just duplicate the background layer again, place it on top of those two layers. And now we are going to apply a high pass filter on this one. Therefore, I'm going to filter other and high pass. And now we again need to adjust the radius a little bit. I would suggest something between two and four or something like this, depending on your camera resolution. Now, of course, um, this doesn't look good, but don't worry about it. You just need to change the blending mode to soft light. And as you can see, I got a lot of details back by using this method. All right, for the second method, I'm using my favorite plugin, which you already know, I guess. It's a Nick Collection plugin and the Color Effects Pro 4 filters. And basically, you want to look for the classical soft focus filter. And depending on your image, you can choose between six different methods and presets. Uh, generally speaking, the diffusion method adds some more contrast to the image, while I like the soft focus method or the glow effect better. So let's just say I'm going with the second soft focus preset for this one and then just apply this. And as you can see, this already added a nice subtle glow to the image without losing too much detail. But of course, if you want to preserve some more detail, you can always mask out certain areas or just apply another high pass filter again to the bottom image. Now the third way I want to show you is kind of similar to the first one. Again, I'm duplicating the background layer by pressing Ctrl J. I am applying a blur effect, 13 or 10 percent looks good. And what I do now is I'm changing the blending mode of this glow layer to a lighter color. And you can already see this is a pretty heavy autumn glow effect. Again, you can play around with the opacity a little bit. And again, to preserve detail, you can just mask out um, certain areas. Yes, and those were the three ways I wanted to show you to apply an autumn glow effect. I guess there are a hundred more ways to do this, but uh, those are just the more common ones I use regularly. So I hope this video was helpful and some of you could learn something. And if you'd like to see more content like this, then please feel free to subscribe to my channel. And thank you so much for watching this video.